Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Nick. This is Daisy Opals. I rented out this drone to get the establishing shot. Very expensive. Maybe not the best idea for closed environments, but anyways, today we'll be covering lighting. And uh, I just want to share with you guys what I've discovered about trying to light opal when I film it or when I photograph it. This is the lamp I use. It's just a normal desk lamp from Amazon adjustable and I'll kind of be going over these four bulbs a 15 watt incandescent 25 watt incandescent 75 watt incandescent and uh, this LED bulb which has a lot of information like it's 5,000 lumens and 13 watts all that will be below and uh, I read somewhere that these incandescent bulbs are the best for shooting opal and uh, I think I cracked that myth today. We'll find out. That's a cat hair. I use this little tripod for desk shots. Helps me get up close and it's out of the way. I got it from Target. I put rocks on the bottom for extra weight. The phone is on the tripod now and I'm showing you my macro lens. Helps me get up close. From Amazon, it's about 40 bucks. I think it's from the brand Zenvo. Works fine. You can see it, it gets a good depiction of my knuckle hair up close. You can see each hair very well in my fingerprints. There. I got this turntable here. You can read the label there. It's from Amazon. And uh, I've covered it in this felt velvet type of stuff that I use. And I've covered the light on the bottom with tape. I've marked the center there. Very important or your stone will look like it's spinning wildly out of control. And I always kind of, when I shoot on my desk, I, I put white paper over all the colorful things on my desk because I don't want that to reflect into the opal. This is with the 75 watt incandescent. And uh, I've changed the exposure here. Less exposure works a little bit better. Always remember to adjust your exposure. You can see on the left, there's not as much detail in the pattern than on the right. It's a slight difference, but it's very important. This is the good material right here. Yeah, that, that's a problem. You're always going to want to get the hair off of it if you have cats. And this is the bad material that I got. I'm not sure what it is, but it, it was too reflective. This is how I set it up. I, I try to cover as much area as I can to soak up different colors. Got the music going. And I center it. I center that where the stone is going to be. And I also switched to this tripod. It helps me get even closer without bothering the turntable. And uh, I'll be using this gorgeous piece of Brazilian opal because it seems to have every color in the spectrum. And it should be a good to show the different qualities of these lights. The 75 watt incandescent, as you see, I've lowered the exposure to the point where I don't see the background, but you can see the opal perfectly. This is kind of the goal when you're shooting with the black background. There's also the, the white plate background, which apparently helps you focus in on the opal better, but I did not have time to knock that one out for this video. Switching to the LED, the A60 5000 lumen 13 watt information is below. Back to the 75 watt, it's kind of yellowish compared to the LED. And I, I think I've been using the 75 watt incandescent and I really like this LED more. This is a 15 watt. One thing to notice with this is that the saturation appears higher on the stone. If you see a dark photo of an opal like this, beware of the saturation. I can turn the exposure up on this, but as you can see, the background shows and it looks kind of crappy. 
So watch out for low light photos. Just mind that the saturation may not be what it appears. This is the 25 watt. I got it just to see if maybe I could get it a step up from the 15, but it's, it's almost the same, a little bit more detail, but you can see the 75 watt really takes care of business compared to that 25. No sense using a 25 or a 15 watt bulb. Just not bright enough. That 75 watt does look good. Not sure why I left the 25 watt on here so long, but anyway. This is the LED. You can see it's it's much better than the uh, 25 watt or the 75 watt. Again, I think I messed with the exposure a little bit more to try to get it better. The, the color is just very honest with the LED. That's the thing. The incandescents have a bit of a yellow hue to them. I got a black mirror too. I wanted to play around with this because I see a lot of great photos have this reflection underneath the opal. So I got this from Amazon, did not get those gloves. I don't know where the gloves went. Maybe, maybe I should check the box. This presents a problem with the tripod method. I might have to find some way to cut this. If only I knew how to cut glass. <clears throat> You know, I thought I was making a funny joke about cutting glass, but this mirror might be plastic, so I don't know. I'm still probably going to cut it at some point to accommodate the spinning tray. Always a lot of, of fiddling, and you'll notice that I'm having extra trouble because of the distance. I, I You know, it's further away from the stone due to this mirror. bumping up against the tripod. So I just I just started with still videos so I could get a little closer. So that's what you're seeing now. And it looks pretty cool with that reflection. It was hard to get the exposure correct. Here's the uh, Contralu's opal. Of course, spending forever messing around with different angles and trying to get the light in the right place to show that special color. I really, really love this stone. Ah, there we go. There's something. Help. Help me light this Contralu's opal, please. If someone knows how I can get all the color out of this, it would be much appreciated. Because uh, it's quite an expensive stone, but my photography skills seem to be holding me back in selling it. So overall, I think the LED is the winner. That's what I'm gonna be using from now on, and that's what I would suggest you use. But again, please share any information you have with me because photographing Opal is difficult. Now on to this segment, which I was forced to do. Okay, here we go. This is what you guys wanted. I made a quick comment at the end of my recording, not really thinking it through. Type banana in the comments and I will shave my knuckle hair. <laughs> Sorry. And a bunch of people typed banana, which means for some reason that I have to shave the knuckle hair on my finger. So um, I hope you guys are happy. I'm a man of integrity. You know, we're, we're bordering on weird kind of jackass territory here, prank territory. It's supposed to be about opal videos, but I guess people, you know, people don't like I'm only going to do one finger, so be satisfied with that. I'm very insecure about I'm very insecure about this, and I hope that nobody notices my bald knuckle later. And if I get made fun of, it's because of it's, it'll be your fault. God. There. Oh, wait, there's a little. Let's do a good job. If we're going to do it, let's do a good job. There we go, is this the, 
Is this the knuckle that society has told you is beautiful? Is this society's standard of knuckle that I have to live up to? Uh, I've paid my dues for my hairy knuckles now. And let's hope it doesn't grow back to be like five times as long. Because then, uh, then you're in for even more knuckle hair, which is, I don't know, you're gonna have trouble watching it, even, even more. Anyway, like and subscribe. I shave my knuckles for you. I hope that, uh, hope that you subscribe. See you later.